Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here, bringing you another math video. And this one's going to be a really short video on explanation of what is the conjugate. Hopefully I spelt that right. Conjugate. Um, so the conjugate is a, is a, a very, very useful idea in pre-calculus and calculus. Um, and essentially what the conjugate is, is when you change the sign between two terms. So let me give you an example. If you have you know, x plus 3, the conjugate of x plus 3 is actually x minus 3. And the reason why this thing is so beautiful is because when you multiply them together, you don't actually have to do, like if you were going to, if I said multiply these two together, you'd probably think, well, I have to use FOIL. Well, the thing about, when you multiply conjugates, you only have to use FL which is first and last. So the reason why is because if I do these things, x squared and then 3x, negative 3x plus 3x and then minus 9, the first two terms and the, it's all you're going to be, or the first term and the last term is all you're going to be left with. So the middle two terms, the oi, disappears. So for conjugate, we remember fl. So you might be asking yourself, when would I use this? So, again, this is not necessarily a video for that. This is more just an explanation of what the conjugate is. Now, I'll give you one example. You want to use the conjugate anytime you're dealing with a unsimplified rational, or sorry, irrational function. So if I have something like root 2 plus root 3. So the rule is about roots, and you've probably done this in your classes. If we, we cannot leave a root on the bottom of a denominator, in a denominator, or on the bottom of a fraction. We have to get it up to the top. So the way we do that is the conjugate. So what we would do is we would multiply the top and bottom of this thing by the conjugate. Just like that. So if I multiply the top and bottom of this thing by the conjugate, so all I did, notice all I did was change the signs in between. So I multiply the top, so really 1 times that is just root 2 minus 3. So the root is now in the top. And the thing is, for the bottom, since it's conjugate, we only have to do fl. So root 2 times root 2 is root 4. And then root 3 times uh, negative 3 is negative 9. So root 2 minus 3, that doesn't change. And then that becomes 2 minus 9, which is negative 7. 2 minus 3 is negative 7, which we can kind of change to negative root 2 minus 3 all over 7. And that's it. That's how you use, well, I forgot to move it up. That's really annoying you, isn't it? It's probably going to get me a few dislikes. Um, but anyway, you guys get the idea. Um, so you need to make sure that there are no roots in the bottom. The way to do that is to rationalize it using the um, conjugate. Let's do another example since I didn't do very good with that one. Um, let me see, I got another piece of paper here, let's try this one. Um, so let's do a slightly harder example, let's do root 2 plus root 3 all over um, 1 minus root 3. So, we have a situation, actually I'll change it to plus 3. We have a situation like this again. The only thing that's unsimplified about this is there's a root in the denominator, so I would multiply it by the conjugate. So multiply it by 1 minus root 3 over 1 minus root 3. So we got to make sure we multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate so we maintain equality. So the top this time is FOIL. So we have to do FOIL for the top because we don't have two conjugates. We don't have conjugates multiplying each other. So root 2 times 1 is root 2. So that's First, outside is going to be minus root 6, inside is going to be plus root 3, and the last one's going to be root 3 times minus root 3, which is minus root 9. Now the bottom we just have conjugate, so it's first last, so 1 times 1, <coughs> excuse me, root 3 times root 3, minus root 9. So we end up with root 2 minus root 6 plus root 3 minus 3 all over 1 minus 3, which doesn't really simplify much, 
but we end up with all over negative 2. I'm just going to leave it like that, even though some teachers will probably tell you to change the signs, or actually I'll write it one more step. I'll probably write it like this. Just like that. So write the negative sign 8 to the side, so it can apply to either one you choose. Alright guys, so there's a short little video on the conjugate. Um, if you were looking for some limit conjugate videos, those are coming. They're on my channel, so you can check that out. Just search it up on the interweb. And um, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Like my page. Subscribe. Whatever it is you want to do. Leave a comment. Tell me I suck. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do. And I'll see you guys in class.